What do we, which one do we do? This one? Yeah. Oh. But we can set oh. the other one up. This one? This one There's so many options. Up. What do we do? To a dual this. champion. Oh. Oh, sit, babe. I'm all right. You guys give me a minute. Perfect. Just Perfect. one minute. Just whew, catch my breath. Catch my breath. Oh. Well, let's get serious, right? Let's get serious. This right here, it means the world to New Japan Pro Wrestling. It's their brand new title. They want it to carry a legacy, a lineage. They want it to have a heritage that matters. So let me speak on heritage. Juice Robinson is one of what the NXT Performance Center people called Dusty's Kid. Well, guess what? I'm his actual goddamn kid, and this title belongs to me. If you didn't think it was personal, it was very personal. For every person that said Juice Robinson was improving, that he had become some promo master. If you're talking about Dusty Rhodes and not me, you're doing it wrong. You're lazy because you should be talking about me. I brought each and every one of you all in single-handedly single-handedly, and I'm a dual champion because of it. I gotta calm down, don't I? In this I gotta situation, calm. I think it's warranted. Oh. This is anger management oh. right here. Have a seat. Oh, you know what? In the spirit of friendship, does anyone have a question? What does this mean for 10 pounds of gold? It means they have a second title. It means Billy, is sitting at home right now, or he's on stage somewhere, literally rubbing his hands together because he picked a wrestling project that worked. He didn't strap himself to a ship that's already sinking. He strapped himself to Cody Rhodes. So this belongs to 10 pounds of gold as well. Next question. Hey man, ladies first. I know you too. Bimbo Jimbo, That's me. come on forward, Bimbo Jimbo. Oh my God. Give him a round of applause, folks. Come on up here. Come on up here. Put him to the table. Get a look at them all. How you doing? Yeah, doing come great. on up here. Join the crew. You're not, I'm not doing as good Hang as you. Hang out. Just be part of it. Just work. There you go. Go ahead. You know, all of us is still acting like he's the dealer. But as there. you said the other day, you're the dealer now. So how are you going to use this awesome momentum just, you know, gaining the second title in your rematch. What's your name? Kelsey. You're very animated. And you work for Wrestling Inc? Yep. I'm sorry, the question was what do I do about the rematch? No, how do you use this momentum going into the rematch? Wrestling is highs and lows. I sat here and pretty much ripped everybody to shreds in the room. It was pretty much uncalled for. But I'm on a high. I've been on plenty of lows, believe me. I plan on continuing the high. Nick Aldis is way better than the internet, than the locker room gave him credit for being. He is outstanding. He's responsible for this sitting here, actually. He really is. But Nick Aldis does not benefit from a two out of three falls match. That match goes a bit of the distance. It has the chance to, and all puffed up like Clubber Lang at 238 pounds, I have more soul than anybody in the industry. I can go longer, can I not? I'm pretty you long. You Marathon man. Marathon man. We're talking about sex. Oh, <laughs> it doesn't benefit him one bit. It's a big front. Him and Jeff Jarrett are essentially putting on their version of All In, that's sweet. Jeff Sweet, he wants his revenge over the GFW disaster, which was partially my fault. I just mailed him the belt back. Guess what? <laughs> Jeff, show up, sit in the front row, and I'll beat your boy one, two, three. Pick him up, beat him one, two, three again. End of story. Moving on. Who do I face next? Who do you think? Kelsey. Kenny Omega? Hey, Kenny Omega? Yeah. That's my friend. Friends keep fighting. Oh, man, we just became friends. You remember when poor JR had to sit out there and watch that 20 minute saga of how we became friends again? We're legit friends. You can beat that guy. Why stop at two belts, make it a hat trick? I like you. More belts. I like you. What's your name? I'm Jeffrey. Come on up here, Jeffrey. Hey. <laughs> Come on up here. Everyone, this is Jeffrey. I, uh, I don't really have an answer for your question. I'll think about it. I want to be friends with Kenny, but you have a good point. Yeah. And is there a more prestigious title than the IWGP Heavyweight Championship? Maybe that title. 
Maybe. That you already have. Depends on who you ask, though. You ask Dave Meltzer? Are you trying to bite you? No. You ask me, do you have two of the most prestigious titles in the world? Show him this ring, bud. This is this is the World Series replica ring for the greatest baseball team in the history of baseball, the Houston Astros. Okay, Jeff. When they beat. Yeah, I think. Jeff. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you. Jeff. Thank you. Yeah. One more question. Another question. You won championships in New Japan Pro Wrestling and NWA. Are there any other promotions in which you'd like to win belts in? Well, my home promotion is still Ring of Honor. I know the big what to do is oh January first we're going to show up on WWE. Pretty possible, but. My home promotion is still Ring of Honor, and I love Ring of Honor. And the Ring of Honor world champion, Jay Lethal, if you recall, my very first match, Jay Lethal, Hammerstein Ballroom, just, just beat the hell out of him. Just embarrassed him. The whole franchise act, the whole thing, whack, 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 crossroads, one, two, three. Wouldn't that be something? Wouldn't that be something? I mean, this is history alone. Bimbo, what are you doing up here still? I'm, I'm here for I'm, I'm here for you. You go. You can go. Can I more? You got a question nipping at it. Go for it, my friend. Last question. What do you oh, I, you're limiting me? Yes. Oh, get on up here. <laughs> get on up. Come on up. It's okay. No, she's the boss. Come on up. It's okay. Come on up. Come on. Come on. Come on. Well, if I promise. You come up here. It'll be the last question. I promise. You got to come up here, though. We give her a drum roll. Come on up. Come on up. Yeah. 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 Last question. Yeah. Ask your question. All right. Um, with all the progress that's been made with, and I don't think independent wrestling is the right word, but alternative wrestling. Beautiful. Uh, what happens if you do go a certain way in, in you and the Bucks? Does that kill it, or is it, does it continue? Um, honestly, it's, it's like kind of a sub, tricky subject because uh, I had a great time in WWE. You know, there's highs and lows, but I, I, I cut my teeth there. and You met your wife there. I met my wife there. Uh, just great time. Um, everyone has different opinions. And it's hard to really get the opinion from somebody when it's, hey, what do you want to do? What, do you, what is the next thing you want to do? And remember, there's, there's five of us, really, of a core unit that is planning to pull a friends and stick together. But hopefully we can really do that. Because I don't want to make any judgments on anybody. I've had a great time with these guys. I'd like being the elite to continue. And I sure as hell would like to bring you guys something kind of like an all-in sequel. So. If that happens, who knows? But uh, in 2019, there's more wrestlers with no fear than ever before. I don't fear anything. I don't fear Vince McMahon. I don't fear Triple H. I don't fear Hunter from Ring of Honor. I don't fear Gato from here. I go out there and play my music. That's it. And you pay for it, and I do my best damn job I can possibly do. And the guys I link up with, they're the exact same way. And I think that's good for wrestling. So, thanks guys. Thank you very, very much. Thank you. Thank you, Cody. Thank you, Rob. Sorry I went long. Thank you. Congratulations. Oh man, thank you. Hey Cody, can we get a photo of you holding both? No, yes. <laughs> sure. Uh, Juice interview? Yeah. Oh. She killed him. She's just like 100 pounds bigger. He's so big. Where, where am I looking? I, I've looked at so many cameras. I think, yeah, I think we got it. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. I'll see you guys down the road. Thank you, love. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, everybody. Well, I guess we should probably start with questions because I don't have really much to say. So, does anybody have any questions? Go ahead. Kind of the obvious question is, you know, what's next for you after you the title? You know, I've been. Won it in July, right? How do, I, how do I win a match with a broken hand, have the match of my life on top of the mountain, and I walk into the G1, shit the bed in the G1, and then this is the next big thing I do since the G1, and what I do tonight? I talked a big game, I talked a lot of crap about Cody Rhodes, and then what did he do? He out-wrestled me. He rolled me up. You plan for a guy, you think he's one way, and then he outsmarts you and he beats you with a wrestling move. So, what's next for me? I don't know. I know I'll be at, uh, what's the next King of Pro Wrestling? I'll be there. I'm sure I won't be doing much because I don't have a title and I got nothing to fight for. I don't, I don't know what's next for me. And after that, I don't know, there's a Super Junior Tour. Unless I lose a bunch of LBs and try to be a junior, I don't. I don't think I'll be on that. And then, what, Tag League? So, 
I guess tag league. I don't know. Maybe I'm a tag team wrestler. I don't know. Because I'm not the U.S. champion. So, I don't know what's next. Jews, two questions. What can you learn from this, and how much did the G1 take out of you? Well, we'll do the first one first, because I think that one, uh, the, you know, the G, I was already kind of like running on, I felt like, you know, when your iPhone says 20%, <laughs> that's how I felt like I was walking into the G1. You know, I'll be honest, you know, you break a little bitty bone in your hand. It was just a small bone. It was just a soft bone. But, you know, those still take, you know, 8 to 12 weeks to handle or to heal if you're not wrestling. But I wrestle. I'm a wrestler. That's what I do. So if I can walk, I'm going to do the G1 every year. You know, because what, Tanahashi, how many is, I don't want to get off. You know how I can get. I don't want to go off on a thing. But I want to be like a guy like Tanahashi. He's done 18 of these. He's tore about every muscle. And, you know, he's got arthritis in every single one of his knees. And he's on every one, so I'm not gonna let a broke. I wasn't gonna let a broken hand stop me. But even with that being said, it's in your mind. You're thinking about it. You're thinking about a broken hand. You're trying to have a good match. You're trying to beat the best. Those are the best 19 wrestlers in the world. The best heavyweight wrestlers. I'll clarify. And then me. You know, you, you're. You, I have to have two good hands. I have to have all my bones, all my muscles. I have to be in the great, best shape to hang with these guys. Who's out there right now? Ishii, Okada, Kenny, and Ibushi. All three out of four of them were my block, and I, and I got I got a hand, a broken hand to worry about. Believe it or not, I somehow, as that went on, I kind of came out of it. I kind of towards the end, I was feeling better, but it, you know, I went in already, you know, two feet in quicksand. So I don't know. It took a lot out of me. It was the worst. It was a terrible G1 performance. I wouldn't be surprised if I'm on the bubble next year to be in it. And what can I learn from this match? I gotta talk. I gotta quit talking so much smack. You know what I mean? I love that. You know, I am arrogant. I am brash. I am flamboyant. I like to talk shit. All right. I'm sorry. I said S H I T. I know we're trying to clean up the language around here. I like to talk smack. You know. And so does Cody. But I, I fell right into Cody. Fell right into him. I th you think you know Cody. You think you know he's gonna have Brandy out there. He's gonna do the Macho Man Miss Elizabeth thing, and he does. And then what's he do? He beats you with a roll up. So I, and I'm still going to the people. I'm still worried about these people. I'm still ready to go through the curtain wondering, are they going to like me? Are they? Are, I always wonder that. Are they going to like me? Anywhere I wrestle. And you know what? No offense to every single wrestling fan out there, but I shouldn't give a damn what anyone thinks. I got to win. I got to win. And if I'm worried about looking to the people and wondering, oh, they like me, I'm going to get beat with roll ups all day. What have the last few months been since uh, the July San Francisco show? What have they been for your career? What has it been like? Well, I think more eyes were on me after that. And I think, uh, yeah, I started getting a lot of text messages from a lot of different people in a lot, a lot of different uh, places in the world. And uh, a lot of questions were asked. Uh, and I think I opened up some eyes with all. Uh, all companies, all wrestling people everywhere, maybe now know who I am, and they should. But yeah, it's been, I don't know. Well, you, you win a title, you're on top of the mountain, and then, then for your first defense, how many times has that happened in New Japan? How many times, if the, the, your first match, you defend it, you lose? And I lost to a guy that I told everybody that I was better than, that I was going to out wrestle, that I was going to prove that I was different. What was the difference between Wrestle Kingdom, what was it, 11? Does anybody know what was that 11, Wrestle Kingdom 11? And tonight here, how many, three, two, three years later? What's, what was the difference? Nothing. There was no difference. Okay, I lost to a crossroads or whatever it's called then. And today I lost to a small package. So what's the difference? Nothing. I don't know. I can't remember what you asked events. me. Sorry. What's that? Between the two events, when, from July until now, uh, what would you would you say anything has changed as far as uh, the landscape or uh, as far as expanding or anything for it's been similar? I think it's been I think it's been similar. We came we came back here. I don't know. I I'm not the right guy to ask. There's a lot smarter people than me to ask that question to. But I feel like you go. You do a small room where everybody's standing on the ground twice in two nights. You sell it out twice. You go to San Fran. You do very well there. Or no, you, I'm sorry. You go to Long, you go. You come here. Then you go to San Fran. Then you come back here. I don't know. To me, that might be 
Is that a step in the right direction? I don't know. But I want to see this grow, and I want to see it go. No offense to Long Beach, no offense to California, but man, there's New York City out there, and I know we're going. There's Chicago out there. There's Miami. There's Houston. There's pro wrestling fans all over our country and all over Europe. And New Japan, pro wrestling fans all over. So let's get our asses out of California and let's go and let's really grow this mother. I'm doing good with this, with this F word thing. I really am and I hope people are paying attention. You talk about I know you are. You talk about the MSG card. Uh, yeah. When you go there, do you hope to be on the card? Do you hope to be fighting for the US championship on there? Oh, dude, I hope to be on that. Well, first and foremost, I hope to be on that card. But obviously, yeah, you want to be in a big singles match fighting for a big championship. The US championship would be great. But uh, as of right now, am I on that card? I don't know. What would you say? I don't know what I would say. We'll see. I know I got to start turning this around. And, you know, love balloon. You know, there's it's ROH and it's New Japan. How many wrestlers is that? 50? Everybody's gonna be want, want to be on that. It's Madison Square Garden, the most famous arena in the world, and it's sold out. So, yeah, I want to be on it. Am I gonna be on it? I don't know. I hope so. I think you are gonna be on it, but how much does this loss sting tonight compared to other losses in your career, considering it was your first major title and you lost it on your first Yeah. Defense? You know, it sucks because I was kind of known for a while to, to uh, be a loser. It's kind of like, I was a loser. I lost, and every once in a while I won, and I surprised people. And then I won a championship, and I'll be honest, I got a little too big for my britches. I put my foot in my mouth, and I talked a lot of crap. And I thought, or maybe I wished myself into, I acted like I was better, maybe I wasn't. Maybe my head got a little bigger, but I don't know if my wrestling ability got any better. Has so your, it really stings. Has your respect increased or decreased for Cody Rhodes after tonight and some of the antics he and Brandon pulled? It, it has increased. It has. I've always respected Cody. And I know I, I say, you know, I said a lot of things. You know, me and Cody came from two different places in the world. And I, and I said something a couple days ago that I actually want to clarify right now. I said that I was the American dream. and I. And I feel like I shouldn't have to say this, but I am going to say this because I want to apologize to the Rhodes family. I want to apologize to anybody that I offended. I did not mean that I was the American dream Dusty Rhodes. I did not mean that. There was only one American dream Dusty Rhodes. There will always ever be one American dream Dusty Rhodes. I know that. I loved that guy so much and I respected him so much. I did not mean any disrespect to anyone when I said, what I should have said, what I meant was, I am living my American dream. It is the American dream for me to get here. My version of that. I am not Dusty Rhodes, nor am I trying to be. But I looked up to him, and if, it, if a little bit of him is rubbed off to me, I'm better for it. So I want to apologize, especially to Dustin Rhodes, because I don't know if he took offense to that, but somebody told me that he might have, so I want to apologize. Sorry. Thank you.